In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a message with Nextgen Display and GSM module. This is the design which I created on the Nextend display by Nextend Editor software. This is the home page design. When user click the send a SMS button, the user redirect to this page. This text field for to type the number who's received the message and this text box is for to type the message. This is the keypad and these buttons are to type the text, the letters and this button is for to delete the text and this send button is to send the message. These buttons are for to type the numbers. Every button have a touch press event. Here you can see every button have a touch press event. By using this touch press event, the Arduino function is start. In this home page to add the pictures to my design, in here I add the pictures to my project and click the picture icon and click it on it and browse the picture that I need. By this button icon, I add the button to the my design. After I create the design, I get that design 
as the TFT file output. Let's check the code. In here, I add the software serial library and use the next next one library. By this line, I create the software serial object to create the software serial ports. In this brackets, I mention the Rx pin and Tx pin. In here, I create the next object and in here, I create the global variable data type is pool uh, and by this global variable, I, I can type the numbers in both text field, both two text fields. By creating that variable, I can type the numbers in this area and also in this area. To type the numbers in both two text fields, I use trigger 16 and trigger 17 function. In trigger 16, x is true and in trigger 17, x is false. In setup section, I start the serial connection. In loop section, I add the next and listen line to listen the next and display event continuously. In trigger 0 to trigger 9 functions, I add the if-else condition, condition to type the numbers in both two text fields. If the x is true, you can type the numbers in this text field. If x is false, you can type the numbers in this text field.
I read the text on the text field and store it in a variable and by next line I add the number and again store in it in a variable and after the next line is to set the new value to the text field this zero object name is for to first text field and T1 object name is for to second text field These functions are to type the letters. In here, I read the text on the text field in this text field and store it in a variable. And next line is for to add the letter which uses type and again store it in a variable. And this line is for to set the new value to the text field. Trigger 13 function is for to send the message by click this send button the trigger 13 function is start first I read the text on the T0 text field and store it in a variable and this remove line is for to remove the first zero in the number and this line is for to read the t1 text field content and also store it store it in a variable and this line is for to check the at connection This line is for to config the message and this line is for to add the number which that we need to send the message and this line is for to set the message and this the last line is for to end the message.
the trigger 14 function is for to change the pages when you user click the send SMS button he redirect to the he redirect to this page to do that the 40 trigger 14 function is useful for that and trigger 15 function is for to delete the numbers delete the text first we read the first I read on the read the text on the text field and store it in a variable and get the length the text of the text and also store it in a variable and by this remove line I remove the last content of the text and by the last line I set the new value to the text field.